This week's Cox of Practice we had our own Matt Hatfield out at Cox High School to sit or to chat with the Cox Falcons as they continue their stretch toward the playoffs under head coach Bill Stachelski. We're here at Cox High School in Virginia Beach, where Bill Stachelski's Falcons are rolling at 6-2 and two overall, headed back to the playoffs for the fifth time in seven seasons. However, this year could be their best chance yet to break through with their first playoff win in school history. We're where we uh, thought we'd be. We were hoping uh, maybe for another win. Um, uh, we played a close game against Salem, and uh, despite uh, the fact that we lost, we, we didn't let it derail us. So um, we're, we're in a position I think that we've never been in before, really uh, with the record we have at 5-2, um, and 6-2, and, two, and uh, two games to go. So it's, um, it's, a, it's a nice feeling to not have to be scrapping for that playoff spot. I mean, I think it's a reality that we, we head into the playoffs. So uh, we're comfortable and we're just trying to close out the season here with a couple wins to see if we can um, get some good footing for the playoffs. It's been going real well. Um, we just uh, we got off to a real good start, had a couple knockdowns, but I think we're coming back real well. Coach made me a captain, so I guess I'm leading the team. and um, I've sort of kept everything together, I guess, and uh, hopefully it'll turn out real well with uh, other leaders on the team, so that works out. We've been uh, Really chomping at the bit to get a playoff win, our first one. Been around a long time, never got one, and uh, it'd be awesome if we can win this week and then win next week and have a home, home playoff game with uh, our awesome fans. You know, sometimes you have to face adversity. You know, not every game is going to be a 30 to zero game, but uh, we like being tested. I think we feed well off of it. You know, we went into overtime against Salem. You know, and when you're in overtime, I really feel that either team can win the game. Um, you know, we just got to keep going. We got can't look back. We just kept looking forward. You know, it would mean a lot because, you know, I remember I was, when I was a freshman out here just, you know, getting beat up when I was coming up from JV. And, you know, we were, you know we'd have a 6-4 record and stuff like that. But to really have an 8-2 record and, you know, went out and go to the playoffs, it would mean a lot for the school and, you know, the program. That's going to help us a lot. We are familiar with great teams. We just know, we know how to beat them now. We just know how to work away, work away our difficulties and just do what we have to do. Um, I say the quick passes and Cole just getting them out there. Once, the quick, once we get the quick passes, we can open up the run game for Sherman. Just get the, get the edge. Green run, very lucky game, but we just have to know how to start off early, limit the turnovers, and then we can, we'll be fine. I think our line, our line's done a, a lot better this year. We got a, a great line, starting with uh, Blake Camper. And uh, I think, I think the, new, the new offensive scheme this year has really helped us. It's kind of spread the ball around to everybody. And uh, we're, we're kind of mixing up between pass and run this year. Yes, sir. Uh, it was a busted play, but just uh, got, got outside and was able to make a, a touchdown. But uh, yeah, we, we got some great athletes on the outside, so we can try to get to them. But if, we, if I need to, I'll, I'll run. It's a really big game. It'll give us a, our first home, our, uh, a home playoff game, and a, it'll be big for us. And it, it's, it'll lead us into the postseason, give us a lot of momentum here. First thing is Bayside. Uh, we had a close game with them last year that, again, we kind of felt like we gave away at the end uh, with a first and goal from the nine on a rainy night, and we fumbled the ball. Um, that certainly affected our playoff seeding as we ended up with a uh, first seed game in Western Branch. Um, so we know that right now we're in the driver's seat. If we can win this game, we can uh, not only secure, uh, you know, uh, maybe a winnable game in the first round of the playoffs, but a home field advantage, like you said. Be sure to follow the Falcons on their journey in the playoffs right here on Sports Report. For Cox at Practice, I'm Matthew Hatfield.